In this video lesson, we are going to learn human excretion. Excretion is carried out by human excretory system. So let's start learning about human excretory system and its excretory products. Human body carries out several metabolic reactions. These metabolic reactions create end products that need to be excreted. These excretory products or the waste products are removed from body by means of excretion. So the process that remove the excretory products from body is known as excretion. Biochemical reactions that take place in human body are known as metabolic reactions. They can be further classified as anabolic reactions or catabolic reactions. Let's discuss it with an example. Here we have the respiration reaction. In respiration, human cells take glucose and oxygen to produce energy, carbon dioxide and water. So in this reaction, glucose reacts with oxygen and the production is energy. And carbon dioxide and water are the unnecessary products of respiration. Here we have a list of excretory products. Excretory products are produced within human cells during chemical reactions that are carried out in our cells. Some of them are carbon dioxide, water, urea, uric acid, salts and water vapor. Let's study these excretory products with their excretory organ. Lungs excrete air and exhaled air contains carbon dioxide and water vapor. Skin is also an excretory organ. Skin excretes sweat and sweat contains little amount of urea, uric acid, salts and water vapor. Kidneys excrete urine and urine contains urea, uric acid, salts and water as its excretory products. Here is a summary of what we have discussed so far. Major excretory organs are lungs, kidneys and the skin. Exhaled air from lungs contain carbon dioxide and water vapor. Urine from kidneys contain urea, uric acid, salts and water. Sweat from the skin contains little amount of urea, uric acid, salts and water vapor. Feces are not considered as an excretory product because feces is the waste product that is remaining after the digestion of food and it is not a waste product from a chemical reaction within the cells. Therefore, we do not consider feces as an excretory product. Let's learn about human urinary system. In cell reactions, nitrogenous waste products are accumulated inside cells. These nitrogenous waste products are toxic to cells and they need to be excreted as soon as possible. And human excretory system is adapted for this function. The main nitrogenous excretory system of the human body is the human urinary system. Nitrogenous byproducts are excreted from the body through kidneys and this happens as urine. Let's learn the parts of the human urinary system. They are kidneys, ureter, bladder and urethra. Here is a detailed diagram of the human urinary system. Blood supply to the kidneys is from renal arteries. Blood from heart is carried from aorta and then in renal arteries to both kidneys. Each kidney has a separate renal artery. Urine is produced in kidneys and then deoxygenated blood leaves the kidneys from renal veins back to heart. Urine produced in kidneys flow inside ureters. There are two ureters and each kidney has a ureter. The two ureters flow urine into the bladder. Bladder can store urine until we pass it. In passing urine, urethra acts as a passage for passing urine. That is how human urinary system is made. Now let's see these features in detail. Here we have renal blood supply. Aorta from heart flows oxygenated blood 
and there are two renal arteries arising from aorta and each kidney gets its blood supply from the renal artery. After that, we have to focus on IVC that is inferior vena cava and renal vein. Deoxygenated blood from each kidney flows by its own renal vein. There are two renal veins and both these renal veins open into inferior vena cava. We call it IVC. Blood from renal artery contains waste products that are made in chemical reactions of body. So these waste products are filtered in kidney and urine is made. Let's see a summary of main functions and features of each part of human urinary system. Kidneys are the main organs of the human urinary system and they filter metabolic waste. There are two ureters and they are tubular structures. Ureters transport urine into the bladder. Bladder is a shrunken muscular container and when it gets filled with urine, the bladder distends. The function of the bladder is to store urine. Urethra is also a tubular structure and helps in passing urine. Let's see human excretion as a process. Blood from the arteries enter kidneys and there by kidneys metabolic waste is filtered. Urine is made in kidneys and ureters transport urine into the bladder. Bladder is the place where urine is temporarily stored until urine is passed. When passing urine, urine from bladder flows through urethra. Here are the kidneys and they are bean shaped organs and let's learn some more details about kidneys. Kidneys are found in upper abdomen. Both kidneys lie on back muscles. They lie opposite to each other on either side of the spine. Right kidney is placed a bit more lower than the left kidney. That is to accommodate the liver. Here is external structure of a human kidney. It shows renal artery, renal vein and the ureter. Here is the longitudinal section of a human kidney. The outer layer is renal cortex and the inner layer is renal medulla. And the innermost layer consists of renal pyramids. Renal pyramids open into renal pelvis and ureter arises from the renal pelvis. Renal artery and renal vein has multiple branches inside kidney. This ensures optimum blood supply and optimum filtering of metabolic waste from human blood circulation. Let's see the components of urine. Urine contains water and salts, urea and uric acid. Patients with diabetes excrete sugar in urine. In healthy individuals, sugar is not usually found in urine. That brings us to the end of this lesson. See you again in a new lesson. Thank you for watching us. If you wish to support our channel, see our Patreon page. And don't forget to subscribe us on YouTube. Thank you.